Hey everybody, welcome back to Hawthorne Hills Front 9 today. Thanks to all of you who subscribed recently. Uh, getting close, either 92 or 93 subscribers. So just a few more and we'll be at 100 in our first season. Going to walk you through uh, nine holes here of good, bad, and sort of ugly golf. This first one seems like it's going to be a routine hole. Uh, we just hit a two iron down there like we always do. 125 yard wedge and we hopefully walk away with a par. If that one goes a little bit awry. We're headed towards the water. One bounce and in. And so now we're playing our fourth shot here. Pretty cinematic look if I do say so myself. And that's a nice little uh, chip shot with the uh, 58 degree. Uh, Modder's gonna give me that one, but from the middle of the fairway to make a bogey on the first hole, not ideal. And that's kind of what this round comes out to be. It's a lot of good shots followed by not so good shots, followed by another good shot, and we never really found a way to get some consistency. So for example here, this is a great drive on two. We put ourselves in a good position. We're gonna lay up the seven iron and we just sort of like cold top it into the middle of the fairway. No clue what's going on there. And now we've got a six iron in and we had a great shot. The six iron travels about 195 yards and I think it's pretty good. I honestly thought it was gonna come around a little bit more, but we've got a chance at birdie. But this green, as we've seen before, is treacherous. This putt's looking really good online and ends up going like 15 feet by. I, I couldn't believe it and you can tell by my reaction there. But that's this green, you cannot miss right. And there's the good. We just pour that in. <laughs> you can see I can't believe it and maybe neither can Modder. Thinking about a little bit of uh, new content options here as we get into the winter season uh, in Wisconsin, um, whether that be doing a little bit of DraftKings stuff or maybe some new stories uh, or series about uh, what golf means to other people. More to come on that in the future, but leave a comment in the chat if you're interested in that type of stuff. That's a good drive to cut the corner, but the wedge shot from about 75 yards lands 10 yards short. We liked it, and it runs probably 15 yards by. Couldn't believe it. And then that putt is just, it leaves a lot to be desired. And so there's, you know, five feet left on the bone there, and we make a bogey. Again, good shots, bad shots, no consistency. That is a bad pitching wedge on this hole because it's gonna leave me on this par three long and right in an impossible spot. But again, we follow that up with a great shot. This is probably the best shot I've hit with this 58 degree wedge uh, since I got it. Maybe my best shot of the day, probably my best shot of the day. And just a nice little tap in par. Again, up and down. You're not gonna get a shot tracer on this one. All you have to do is look at that the leaves on that tree. Uh, they're yellow. It went way over there. And so now we're in the sixth fairway and we're trying to muscle a 50 degree wedge here. This is the pin I've always wanted to have on this hole. It sits in the, in the front right corner in a little bit of a bowl, but we're just on top of it and there's just no way to really stop this putt. I uh, hit it a couple of times and couldn't really get it any closer. So makeable putt for par, probably should have taken my time. It's just, I don't know, that's golf. Driver here on the par five sixth. I'm thinking about laying up though anyways, before I even get up there. I haven't really hit a lot of great drives and the long irons are just not giving me a ton of confidence now. And so there's just a really cozy nine iron uh, that I'll just sort of back away from and, and land in the middle of the fairway. Hit myself with my divot there. That one was a groove or two low with the 56 degree, but all over it. And uh, we've got ourselves a 25 foot, 30 foot putt down the hill. 
and it goes in for birdie. How about that? Ups and downs. I always hit driver on this hole, but I just wasn't confident and the miss right is dangerous. So I hit two iron and it clanks off a tree, but fortunately into the middle of the fairway or close to it. And I kind of hit a sawed off nine iron here to the front right of the green. It kicks a little bit right, but I've got an uphill putt uh, on another green that you can't be, find yourself putting downhill. That just comes out right and again, you know, any good shot seems to be followed up by a bad one. Tough breaker there, and again, burning the lip. Bogey. Three over and unable to find any momentum. This is probably the best five iron, probably the best shot I've ever hit on eight. Uh, it was 204 yards to the pin, and I probably hit this 215 yards. Um, I thought we were going to be a lot closer when uh, when it was flying in the air. But that's a decent lag putt for birdie uh, from you know, 30, 35 feet. And we'll clean up for par. This last hole is really not a birdie hole for me. So getting out of here with par would be great. Finish the round with 39. And that drive was the best one of the day, uh, right down the middle probably about 140 yards into a back right pin. It's uphill and I just didn't commit to that. I yanked the pitching wedge, left myself short of pin high and way left. I've probably got a good 45, 50 feet here up a hill. And it's just hard for me to get this putt there. The line is pretty good, but you'll see we've got five feet left and a lot to be desired. Typically my putting is pretty good. You know, I need to give myself a little bit more credit but that reaction kind of sums up the day another bogey lack of momentum but it's nice to be out on the golf course you're going to have those days there's going to be ups and downs feel free to hit the subscribe button leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next time